In this program, I have a few variables with types we use all the time. Printing their values to the terminal is quite easy. I just have to send them to the standard output stream using the insertion operator. This statement here returns a reference to the output stream, so I can chain outputs together like this. If I start the program, we can see the values here. But what happens if you try to print an instance of a class you have written? In this project, I have a simple rectangle class, as you can see in the Solution Explorer. Let's create a rectangle object here. I'll set its width to 100 and its height to 25. It would be convenient if I could simply output it like we did for the variables above. But as you can see, that does not work out of the box. We have to overload the insertion or output operator for the class. So let's open rectangle's header file. Rectangle has two member variables, mWidth and mHeight, both of type int. The constructor just initializes those values, and then there are getters for both width and height. Note that I have made them const, because they don't change any state. To make this class printable, we first include the IO stream header. Then, outside the class, we declare a special function. It returns an output stream reference, and the name must be operator, and then the actual operator. The function takes two parameters, an output stream reference, and a const reference to your class, in this case, rectangle. const is not required here, but it is good practice to use it. That way, users will know that printing an instance of your class won't modify its state. Now we can open rectangle.cpp and implement the function. Inside this function, we can output whatever we want to the output stream. I'll output rect, followed by its width and height in parentheses. Remember, that we must return a reference to the output stream. The easiest way to do that is to add a return here. This works for the same reason that chaining works. All right, that's it. Let's test it out. As you can see, Visual Studio is no longer complaining. If we start the program, we can see the textual representation of our rectangle. Note that our overloaded insertion operator works for any kind of output stream. We could also use it for an output file stream, for example. Before we end this video, I want to give you one more tip. So let's open rectangle.h again. Note that this function is not part of the class at all. So by default, it cannot access Rectangle's private member variables. If you want the ability to do so, you can declare it as a friend like this.
Now we can access m width and m height directly. I hope you now understand how to make your own classes printable. Thank you for watching.